Hello folks and welcome in here to Big D Shade Tree. Appreciate you tuning in. I uh, hope that you'll take the time to uh, hit that subscribe button down there. It really helps us uh, subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up anyway. And uh, also there's a bell down there somewhere. If you'll flick that bell, you'll get a notification every time Big D puts up a new video to the, to the Shade Tree. I've got just tons of people who just keep uh, sending me messages and and calling and emails it's big d when are you going to have some more content up on the channel so uh i'm going to get you some more content up there today's content is a little different it's not a, it's not riding a dirt bike or uh traveling uh it's uh kind of goes back to the root to the, the, the shade tree uh shade tree mechanic work i'm working on my wife's car in the garage putting a timing belt on a 2010 acura tsx it's got the 3.5 v6 engine and uh it's time for a timing belt replacement. They're supposed to be replaced about every 100,000 miles. So uh, anyway, the, the toughest part of the job on these cars, Hondas are notorious for the crankshaft bolt being very difficult to break loose. So uh, you'll get to watch me go through um, the whole process, uh, lots of fails, and then finally success at the end. Uh, close to the end of the video, I had a, a tool failure a double tool failure with uh, a lot of uh, torque being placed on the tool when it failed. So uh, I'm glad I had that uh, captured there to see that failure, but uh, uh, everything worked out fine in the end. But uh, anyway, maybe it'll help somebody uh, with some ideas as to how to break the, uh, the bolt loose. And at the end, I may come back and give a uh, one more little tip that I used once before on breaking one of these loose that worked really well. I just didn't try it this time, but uh, uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello folks and welcome to the Shade Tree. Today I'm taking on a project that uh, a little off the path of what I normally do videos on, but it's still under the Shade Tree because I'm a Shade Tree mechanic and, and I'm having some trouble getting a bolt off of a crank on a um, 2010 Acura. It's got the V6 engine. The bolt I'm talking about is this bolt right here. That's the crank, it holds the crankshaft pulley on there. You gotta get that thing off before you can uh, change the timing belt. The cars uh, do a timing belt change. and So I thought I would, uh, thought I'd just change it real quick. And it might not be so hard once I get this bolt off, but Hondas and Acuras are notorious for having crankshaft bolts that are really difficult to get off. So here's what I've done so far. I have uh, I tried to use an impact wrench. I got two different impact wrenches. I tried on it with uh, 125, 130 pounds of air. No good. I uh, soaked it with PV Blaster, WD-40, uh, things like that. I've used heat. Got some map gas and a little torch put the heat to it I don't know if I put enough heat to it that's what I'm gonna try again um, went to Harbor Freight bought me a bigger bar I always heard if you couldn't beat it off get a bigger beater well I couldn't pry it off so I got a bigger pry bar so uh, we're gonna see if that does any good uh, I have I have tried it but I haven't exhausted my efforts yet I hadn't called the record to come tow it to the repair shop so we're still working uh, if you've never messed with one of these before, this little tool right here, you can't do the job without it. Uh, at least, I don't know how you do it without it. It slips up inside the uh, crankshaft pulley there and holds it in place. And I got a phone call. The important guy like me, we get a lot of phone calls. Sorry about that. Important man like me, we get, we get a lot of phone calls. People are always calling on to know, you know, what's going on under the shade tree today. When are you going to put up more content? You know, that's why I've, most of my content is dirt biking stuff. I've got just a little bit of guitar and travel content on the on the on the channel, but I'm just getting requests. Big D, when are you going to put up more content? Well, my wife's car's got to have a timing belt, and so here we are. We're trying to get this crank bolt out. So I think. Uh, I think we talked about what I had gone through. I've tried a couple of different uh, impact wrenches. Uh, 
breaker bar, cheater bar, put a little heat on it. I got a bit, I went to Harbor Freight and got me a bigger breaker bar, longer extension, and I'm about to really bring out the big guns, big guns on, uh, on getting this bolt out because the you can't go any farther. If you don't get that bolt out, you don't get that pulley off, you don't get the job done. You can't get the, uh, can't get the belt off. And if you can, post that in the comment and let me know how. But uh, anyway, it's gotta come off, so um, what I plan on doing, and I've also taken, I've also taken a big hammer and I hit the, hit the end of the bolt right on the end. Sometimes if you jar a bolt right on the end of it, it will be enough to, um, you know, break the, the bond and, and help the, the bolts release. But this is a pretty common thing and, and I hope that, uh, I hope you get to see me get the thing off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some heat on the, uh, on the end of the bolt, put the heat right on the end of the bolt. I've got a torch and I'm using map gas. Um, I think it, it, you're supposed to get better heat with map gas than, than propane. So I'm using map gas and I'm gonna put heat right on the end of the bolt. I hope I can get the bolt hot enough in there where the threads are that the thing will break loose and uh, we'll have some uh, have some luck here. So let's see what we can do. Plan on putting it on there for I think I'm going to try two minutes. One minute might be enough, but I'm going to go two minutes. My internal clock says that's about one minute. Uh, heat is your friend. This ratchet goes down inside the control lower control arm here to, to uh, hold this thing in place. All right. Get my 19, 19 millimeter socket. Oh, my jack stand's not tall enough. Ah, problems. All right. Luckily, I had a couple of uh, had a couple of bricks. I think you're gonna do the trick, but hope I haven't lost too much of my heat. So this is a handle, actually a handle out of my jack. So I'm gonna put over the end of my breaker bar to act as a cheater bar to give me some more leverage. And that gun won't go over. Dang. Let's try a little more heat. I sprayed some, some more uh, WD-40 and some PB blaster on that. So hoping it was soaking there while it was hot. I'm gonna put more heat on there. I hope it doesn't catch a fire. If it does, well, maybe it won't burn long. Got all my ducks lined up this time. Maybe I want to uh, waste time. I think maybe it cooled off maybe before I was able to uh, to get my torque on. Let's hope that heat that's coming up is not burning anything up above. That bolt was kind of glowing red right there. Problem is the threads are way up inside the crankshaft, so you gotta hope we get that heat all the way to the threads. That's where it counts. All right, let's see what we got. Huh, I only weigh about 175, 175 pounds and that's just not enough. I gotta get a better cheater or something. So here's the new plan. I got my entire jack handle that I'm gonna use for leverage. And Shorter, uh, a shorter breaker bar with a smaller handle that I can get up inside there. It's not as long, but I got a long enough handle now. Something's gonna break. 
Something's got to give this time. So I hope it's the bolt. It's the longest breaker bar I've ever used on anything. So I'm going to go back and, and put heat on it again first. This time I'm going to use my timer. That's right at two minutes. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get more on it here. Something's got to give. I don't know what to do. I'm going to put heat on it again and give it another try. All right. Got to put the heat on it again. I'm going to give it another try. The old college try. Oops. It's in college. Well, there you go. Something gave. It was my extension. There you go. At least you got something. Check this out. First off, my old pull handle broke. Um, made in USA. I'm not familiar with the brand, but Sparta. It broke, but at the same time, my brand new Harbor Freight Impact Extension broke too. Broke the end of it off, so. Uh, there's the other end of that thing, so. Broke two parts at the same time. What are the odds of that? So, where do we go from here, huh? Well, I don't know. Maybe at the same time the jarring broke the, uh, the bolt loose. There's a look at the piece that was broken. It was stuck up inside the socket. All right, next we're gonna try another DeWalt electric or battery powered impact. Maybe, uh, maybe when everything broke a minute ago, we got it loose. That bolt says, ha, 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 ha. No go. We may come back and try again tomorrow. Because, uh... All right, we're going to give her another go. Got another combination. Another combination. I have three extensions this time because my longest one broke. And I got a full handle I borrowed from a fellow that lives down the, down the street. He was good enough to loan me his, so we'll see what we can break this time. Maybe we can break a bolt loose. Well, something broke. What was it? I 
Maybe we've succeeded in victory. Let's see. Can you believe it? That bolt was tight. She wrote. Whew. Well, I guess we got a review of a Harbor Freight uh, lifetime warranty extension. I'm going to take that thing back tomorrow and, and get my money back on that. Uh, review on my 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 neighbor's uh, SK pull handle worked just fine. So I think it was just a combination of persistence. Uh, you stay after, stay after it long enough, and eventually something will work. Let's get putting the heat on it, get putting the penetrating oil on there, and just through the cycles, I'm sure of uh, adding the heat and uh, putting the penetrating oil and, and and all the failed attempts. Finally, it had to give it up. I mean, what can withstand that much? Uh, pressure eventually you got to give in that's just uh, the way things go so now I'm on to the rest of my project appreciate you tuning in don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like give it a thumbs up hit that little notification bell down there somewhere somewhere down there below and uh, you'll get a first-hand look at everything that comes up here in the shade tree thanks for tuning in as a follow-up to the process of breaking the uh, crankshaft bolt loose with the uh, extension and pull handle and, and cheater bars and heat and penetrating oil and, and, and uh, leverage, um, there's another way to break the, the bolt loose and it's a lot easier. I've actually done it this way before, but for some reason I just didn't think about it when I was doing it this time. And some people consider it a little bit dangerous, um, I don't know. But anyway, you put your breaker bar on the bolt and you get it wedged on the lower control arm to where uh, it's, it's secure and it's not gonna move. You get inside the car, you hit the switch, you let the starter turn the engine while the breaker bar holds the uh, crankshaft bolt in place and it just pops that thing loose. I did that once before and I mean it worked just like a charm. But uh, some people recommend not doing it that way. I really don't know why. But uh, this time, the reason I didn't do it that way is I just simply forgot about it. You know, Big D's getting a little older and he doesn't remember everything. And for some reason, um, I just forgot that I'd done it that way the last time. The car's got 215,000 miles on it, so it's the second time I've changed the timing belt. Um, but anyway, uh, you can look up videos, I'm sure, on how to do that. But uh, Big D just didn't do it that way this time. But uh, uh, we wouldn't have got to see that tool break either, so. Thanks for tuning in.